You being weak is an issue. You don't realize it now, but I'm going to give you an analogy from Genghis Khan himself to show you that it is a big, big issue. First of all, Genghis Khan, massive leader in the war books of history, monolithic man, a figure who surpassed so many different areas of human endeavor. So Genghis Khan had a friend, a close, close member of his tight-knit regime. This man, will call him John. John was absolutely, absolutely the ideal male figure. He had everything going for him. He was strong. Every battle they went to, he was the one leading the forefront. If he was sent somewhere, he would come back within days with no scars. And back in the day with the mongrels, they believed in going to battle and not coming back with any wounds or scars because that demoralized. One of the biggest rules Genghis Khan had that you had to follow, had to follow, is that your mentality was geared towards success. He said you are not allowed at all to speak of death to speak of being wounded, to complain about any wounds, any sores, or have any sort of sorrow because that was associated with failure and everyone in the whole crew, the whole team needed to be oriented towards success. Therefore, if he spoke about that, there would be trouble to pay. There would be trouble to pay. Back to John. One day John, right, was, me was meeting up Genghis Khan outside his tent and he had built up a bit of tension with other members after things he had said, things he had done. He was known to be very close to Genghis Khan. So obviously things build up, people get a bit jealous. One day, people ganged up on him, gave him a proper beatdown. One way it's like so undeniably terrible. And straight after that, he ran to Genghis Khan saying, your members have beaten me up. They've, they've violated every single thing of my whole, just my, my manly being, they've really just like, I feel like a loser right now. What's going on? He laughed at him. He was not sorrowful. He was not like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, he laughed. He laughed in his face and said, you, John, you're my strongest soldier. How of all people are you the one to get absolutely beaten up by these people? Why you? You're the strongest person. I don't understand why. John was ashamed. Note, note that word I've used. He was ashamed, right? He didn't go in a ball and cry. And, oh, 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 how could he say this to me? Oh, this is terrible. Oh, why would he say that? Why isn't he my, he's my captain. He's my leader. Why? Oh, woe is me. No, he said, I'm ashamed because I've let him down. I've established that I'm fearful that I have a weak spot and that was very bad for him. So long story short is that you need to be strong for the people around you, from your family to your spouse, to everyone around you so that they have an embodied sense of control and strength just like Genghis Khan's army. Keep on working hard. When nothing else to say, it's a boy mass stroke. Oh, caught me. Back at it. Bang. Bang. Easy. My lens is going to break one day. I'm lying. It's not going to break. It's strong like me. It's strong. <laughs> Fanta light, bruv. <laughs>